Well, it's about darn time. Oh, I mean, uh, hey everybody, I'm Psych, and this is Banjo Tooie. You know that game that I was I was gonna do that project on to do goofy voices, and I had a contest and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. Also, that's clearly a Nintendo 64. All right, let's not. Can't I? I think I can actually select it. Yeah, I can. Oh, look at that cross promotion. And I assume that's Banjo Tooie in the in there. And then a copy of uh, Nuts and Bolts right behind it. It's not a bad game, okay? Star Fox Adventures is not a bad game. Both games made by Rareware, for the record. But anyways, I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna do this one and we're going to discuss some rather special things that are gonna go on with this project right after this massive intro cutscene. So sit back and enjoy. Two years have passed since Brentilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. You know, if you disregard all that Grunty's Revenge stuff. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. If you disregard the Grunty's Revenge stuff. No good, mistress. Still can't shift rock. Remember that? Remember that voice? Um, um, all because of that stupid bell. And bird. Don't forget about the kazooie. Oh, remember these misfits? Ah, Mumble Play Well has much of best cash. Well, he's right, kazooie. There goes your bird seed money. Don't be so sure, Banjo. Hey! Look outside, everyone! Grunty the Witch is coming! What? 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 Shadow the Hedgehog, that's where I went. Ah, oh. oh, this is gonna be rough. Also, as you can clearly tell, this is the Xbox uh, 360 version, so you're gonna notice that the dialogue goes significantly faster than the video, so there's gonna be these big parts of, like, no talking. You'll see. <laughs> Don't you worry, you'll see. Stop rocking the table! You're m, -m making me so sick! Mumbo not rock the table, all house shake lots! P -p Perhaps one of us should go take a look outside! <laughs> you like a good drilling. 
Okay, this game's rated E, but it's also made by Rare, who push the envelope as far as they possibly can with what they can get away with in an E-rated game. Okay? It's okay, they're British. I got a thing. Also, I'm doing this live. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just in a mood today to love life. Maybe, well, maybe not that, but other things in life, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, Harry Blabiana, our sister is waiting. Yep, that's her voice. I'll wait until you hear this one. Oh my goodness. Oofa. Quickly, we must go, or angry Grunty will be. Then get off me, you must, or move I cannot. Spur of the moment. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the good old days. Oh, it stopped now. I wonder what it was. Or less noisily, let's go take a look, Kazooie. But it's dark out there, and uh, I'll be scared. Chicken. Mumbo, much brave. Me go look outside. Back in minute. What a sucker, huh? Come on, Banjo. Give me a hand. I mean, a paw. Kazooie! Fishy stuff go oh. Sorry, mistress, I have failed you. <clears throat> Weary, grunty mustn't get you out your sister's will. Big Rock is so power we must combine. Grunty sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic blast this rock. <laughs> Boulder Blaster. Is that what that said? I just... I just simply refuse to read. Me not read very goodly. Gun Rock has so out you can can! Okay, so you can clearly hear the rock levitating noise going on right now. Prime example of what's going on. You know what? Whatever. No, no, this cannot be! What's happened to little old me? <laughs> nice grunty looks. Last weight you have. I hate bones, a body I need. Can you help with this little deed? <clears throat> yes, plan to help you have, so back to our castle we must go. Right then, girls, let's fix me up. Then Banjo's hairy butt, I'll whop! Dialogue. Filler. Space. This not good. Me go tell Banjo. <clears throat> yeah, seeing as Bony Man has him, we must whack. Leave it to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick butt, then off to the castle. Prepare to get zapped. Again, it's the Xbox version. A lot of forgiveness must be taken. Guess I'll be having that bird seed after all, huh, Banjo? But you traded, Kazooie. Let's not. Everyone, ah, must run. Ha! Oh, quick, Grunty coming. Revenge is mine, I cannot miss! Let's see that furry fool dodge this! It is kind of funny though, the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Skullboy! <laughs> and I bet she had two heads! No joke! Look! Pa! Spell coming! Oh, he's right! Quick! Everyone out! I'm not falling for that trick again! I'm staying right here! <laughs> I stand by my decision! 
Harry, you must. Ready to leave. We are. Hold on, sis. I'm nearly there. I've just been too blessed. That bear. Troops we will leave. Destroy area they will. Yep, off we go. The landscape kind of already looks messed up, so... Whatever. Stop! Wave on me, Mr. Esperanto! <coughs> no, no, Clungo! You stay here! I'll be back! Have no fear! She won't. She won't at all. <laughs> you know, the, the off-kiltered music... It kind of works and kind of doesn't. I think it's funny. Oh, mumble head hurts. Look at our house. Well, at least everyone got out safely. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on. Where's Goggle Boy? Ooh. Oh yeah. A little uh little aloe on that. Fix you right up. Maybe an ibuprofen or uh something of that nature. Oh, uh, maybe not. Ah, uh -huh. more looks much unwell. Oh, it's worse than that. Granny's killed poor models. He wasn't the favorite character in Banjo-Kazooie anyway. Kazooie! Sorry! Grunty wreck house and kill bottles. She must pay. Bear and Boon get after witch. Mumbo, see you later. <laughs> Great! I get to peck some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo! <sighs> I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. There we go. And our oh, oh, oh and our weird grand adventure. Oh. Look, I can still see my old dirt piles. Press B to interact with them to remind you of your original moods. You know, I actually will do that, but uh, first things first, something that a lot of people probably don't do, just because there's no real reason to. But inside Banjo's just wrecked house. Remember that, remember that sucky picture of bottles that was here in Banjo-Kazooie? Ha! No more! I'm glad that thing got burnt up. Look at this place. Everything's gone. A little stove, chair, bed, Royston. That that that's the fish. <laughs> a picture of uh, it was gonna be Fungi Town, but then turned into Fungi Forest in Donkey Kong 64. All that junk. Anyways, out we go. <clears throat> that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Banjo Tooie finally underway. Um, a few things about this. Yes, this is the Xbox 360 version. Oh boy, an automatic cutscene. My bad. Hold on. Yep, there you are. Just slave it away. <laughs> Stupid man, mud coming. Me wait for them in here. <clears throat> Gonna take a walk on the wild side. Anyways, um, one thing that's really awesome about this is that there are achievements associated with this, and I've not done any of them on this uh, dummy account that I have, so therefore, when I actually achieve one in the game, it'll pop on screen. So, that's one thing that'll be nice, I won't have to, you know, do anything more so than usual. I'll start, I'll probably still put them in the description anyway, so that's cool. And uh, what else, what else? As per stipulations in 
the contest, uh, I will not be doing any backtracking until after I finish the final level. Uh, what else, what else? Just let me start working on some things. Try using eggs as ammo! Who are you? You'll figure that out later! Oofa! Uh -oh. <laughs> Pick up, honey, it's a boost y'all energy! <coughs> Red feathers are needed for Kazooie to fly! Uh, peck, peck, peck. What else was I gonna say before getting into the obvious things? Um, you start out with pretty much, I think, every move that you ended uh, the previous game with. So you got that, you got a little side tackle, you got rat a tat rap. Um, the, the bear, the claw swipe got replaced with this little peck move, which is actually very very good. It's pretty much like a ground version of this, so that's nice. And then the roll attack just got upgraded, so you don't just stop after you roll, you actually just continue on with it. So, that's really good. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Uh, Move-wise... Oh, how you doing? Oh, you just got attacked by a brand new attack. How does that make you feel? Oh, hey, there's Granny's hole! <clears throat> I missed... I meant the one she was trapped under. Let's go let's go play around in it. There we go. Yeah. It's fitting. Anyways. Was there something else I was going to say before the thing I wanted to say? I suppose not. Therefore, I will move on to the one piece that I wanted to say to end this video off. Because next time we will actually go in that hole there and see what that Klingo feller wants, but what I did want to say is that in terms of the Jinjo contest that I do have going on, I completely forgot to mention how the points were going to work. Um, oh, you can't do that. Well, shoot. Anyways, the point system. Uh, as you know, the contest was which Jinjo family will be completed last, and then which Jinjo family will be completed first. <clears throat> How the points are going to work is... Depending on when a Jinjo family gets completed, that will determine how many points a person gets. So, say you picked that the Black Jinjo family would be completed last. If I complete the Black Jinjo family last, then that nets you nine points, because there's nine Jinjo families. Now, if you said that Black Jinjo family would be completed last, and I complete them second to last, then that will net you eight points, and so on and so forth. And in turn, the same with uh, the Jinjo families that get completed first. If you said that white would be completed first, and I collect the white one first, then that will net you nine points. And then in turn, if you said white would go first and white went second, then that would net you eight points. So on and so forth. So that's how the points are going to work for this project. <clears throat> I do realize that that may have affected some people's making of their guesses for the contest. So I will allow everybody to change their answer once on this video uh, if you do not like your original answer or if somehow my point system setup will uh somehow altered your decision on which jinjo families you wanted to or if you just got bored of the jinjos that you chose and you want to pick something different go for that too i don't care <clears throat> once the second video goes up which i'm predicting will be in a week from now then you can no longer vote on the jinjo contest whatever answer you put whether you change your answer on this video or you just stick with your original answer in the previous video that will be your answer set for the rest of the contest the rest of the video series that's it <clears throat> a little interesting thing is that you see this little kazooie face rock right here there this is actually 
associated with the last Jinjo that I will collect in this game involves that thing right there. Because again, no backtracking. So, take a good look because this is one of the first things that we see in this game and in turn will be one of the last. Ha, uh, what shall I do now? What shall I do now? Should I get a little plot development or should I end it? What are we at? 22 minutes? Mm. Oh, I suppose. This doesn't involve backtracking at all. But right over here is one of the first uh, collectibles that we'll be getting in this game. And I just completely missed the ledge. There we go. <clears throat> Got this little kind of scroll looking thing. It's got some weird characters on it. Wonder what would happen if I picked it up. Well done. You found one of my missing pages. Collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. So, can I see it from here? Yeah, so right in there, use this uh, broken bridge part to climb up in there. That's where Cheeto is. Remember Cheeto? Remember that guy? I love his voice. <clears throat> That's where he's at. And Cheeto pages are one of the kind of big collectibles of this game. Can't remember how many, 25 I believe in total. There's a lot of collectibles in this game and that's part of the reason why I love it. And uh, there's significant backtracking pretty much every level except for the last one. Uh, it's just, it's so good. I'm so, I love this game. One of my top 10 favorite games of all time, maybe top 15, I forget what my list is, but top 15 for sure games. I adore this game. And we will get into more plot development, more action, more collection, more this, more that next time. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for putting up with another one of my absences. Uh, again, if you want to change your answer for the Jinjo contest, go right ahead. If you are satisfied with your previous answer, you don't have to do anything. That's cool too. And I will see you all. Ugh, side tackle. I will see you all in a week from now for Psych Plays Banjo-Tooie. Part 2.